Hello everyone, I'm Gleb Bakhmutov and I want to give you a couple of pointers about passing environment variables to your Cypress script. A very common thing is we have a package JSON with SciOpen or SciRun command and that just says Cypress open or Cypress run and then you pass environment variables by using dash dash env command line argument. In this case the user wants to pass the value of a current environment variable to be username and the password. Great. So if we run this script like this, in our environment we'll set db username equals to full, password to bar, and then we'll call the npm script. Cypress so runs. We can look if our variables were passed correctly by going under settings tab and into configuration. Under the environment key, we can see the db user, right, that we set right here, variable name, is equal to the value of environment variable db username. And db.password is equal to password. Now, this means everything worked correctly. The environment variables were correctly substituted into the package JSON alias, right? So on most systems, this works right out of the box. Maybe on Windows it doesn't work for specific shell. But it doesn't work if you pass it as a string. So for example, if I use single quotes, this stops the, the interpolation, this dollar sign on my system from working. So if we do something like this, and try exactly the same command again, notice the single quotes will make it not work. Again, let's check the environment. db user equals the string dollar sign db username and db password is incorrect as well. So make sure that when you call from your shell npm run sci open or npm run sci open run that this is not incorrectly passed as a single string and it's interpolated. So if you're struggling with this, right? I suggest you look at plugins file. One thing where even this is not very good, right, in the correct manipulation is that we probably want to have db as an object with username property and the password property and not properties db.user, db.password. Okay, in our spec file, we probably want to do something like this. You know, from db equals cypress and db. And not const user cypress and db user. How does it uh, use? Okay, so how do we make sure that this is an object? Right. So for this, the best way I found and the simplest way to avoid interpolation errors is to use the plugins file. So right here, we're running in node. That means we have access to process and variables. So what I'll say here, I'll say config and db. So config is a full result configuration object and is just an object inside. So we're adding a new object inside the db object. We'll say user and here we can just say process and db username. And we'll say password process and password. Okay. So we set the new environment property db, which is an object. And the most important thing is to return the updated config. Otherwise, Cypress has no idea that you modified it, doesn't watch the default. So we added this object by extracting the environment variables and we return the config. Now we don't need all of it. So I'm going to stop it. I'm going to again run this. So when Cypress starts, it goes to a plugin. The plugin extracts the process environment variable. And if we look at on the environment, we now have an object with property user, the password, and both are set correctly. So if everything else fails, use the plugin file to set environment variables. 